this is Beth with the What Matters Warren and I am standing here in the Warren Paint and Supply Building right across from the Visitor Center on Main Street. I'm here with the owner and he is going to tell you who he is and what he's going to share with you today. I'm Dr. Craig Zunka and I'm going to give you the history of the Warren Paint and Supply Building. Yay! Like you, I'm sure you've driven by Main Street and wondered what is the history of this building where you are about to find out. This is a part of the HGTV series where we're trying to get them to choose Front Royal and we're going to do an interview with him for that and I thought you guys might like to hear it to see what in the world this historic building has hidden in here, all the secrets and great memories. So we're going to stay tuned for an interview. Thank you so much for your time. All right. Hi. I'm Dr. Craig Zunko, and I'm standing here in the Warren Paint and Supply Building that was the home of the Warren Paint and Supply store that my father owned for 68 years, but it was also the Warren Paint for some years before that. But the original part of this building was built in 1863 and it was the original Weaver's Building in Front Royal. Weaver's Building was originally, General Store was out in Bentonville, and after a fire, they rebuilt here in Front Royal uh, during the Civil War. So it was the Weaver's Store for a number of years until Weaver's Store moved up farther up Main Street. And I'm not sure when it became Warren Paint and Supply, <clears throat> but it was back in the early 30s ran as and then my father bought the store in 1946 and ran it until the probably around 2010 the uh, I worked here as a young man so and it was kind of the heartbeat of this end of Main Street it had the train station across the street and a feed mill and there was a, a lot going on. It was a paint store, but then my father's vision later on in the, oh, 1960s, went into also picture framing and art supplies. So this was a picture framing uh, place for the whole valley. And I was a picture framer for my dad back then. and. This one, I worked for years doing, doing that until finally a uh, store closed up about 10 years ago.